10-year-old Riker Stipek was thrilled to be experiencing his first slice of New York City pizza and see the Broadway musical Hamilton. Bless his sweet little heart, he wanted to go to the Weehawken dueling grounds where Aaron Burr and Hamilton had their duel. The Stipics were in New York City, celebrating Riker turning double digits. When your kid is happy and healthy and 10, you kind of assume they're going to be happy and healthy and 10. Until he wasn't. They were heading to the World Trade Center Memorial on Monday. There's a building over there that we walked through, and as soon as we walked in that building, he said, oh, I have a really bad headache. This is the worst headache I've ever had. His dad says Riker vomited and laid down near a bench. It was like a, a, a shriek of pain. They took him to the hospital, where doctors put him in a medically induced coma. It's as awful as it sounds, you know what I mean? Doctors told them they think Riker may have had an abnormal connection between his arteries and veins, with an aneurysm inside it, which burst. They had to drill a hole into his skull to drain blood and fluid and remove clotting. Now they're focused on getting his electrolytes back up. We don't know, you know, the genuine hope of if uh, and, and when he does come out of this, you know, what kind of therapies or treatments are going to be needed down the line. David, a hospice chaplain, and his wife, who's the assistant principal at Harrington Elementary in Round Rock, were met immediately with support back home. And that has been incredible and overwhelming. Their church's lead pastor opened a GoFundMe, reaching more than $68,000 in just a few days. I don't have the words to say thank you to everybody outside of the words thank you. Doctors want to do an MRI on Riker before they can give his family an official diagnosis. But Riker has to become stable enough to get off some of his tubes and machines first. So now the Stipics are praying Riker will wake up and this nightmare will end. We never expected it to be our reality, but it is.